from New York, it's theCUBE. Covering Escape 19. Hello, and welcome back to theCUBE's coverage here in New York City for the first ever inaugural multi-cloud conference called Escape 2019. Escape, we're in New York, we're not escaping from New York, we're escaping from the cloud. Jim Walker, Vice President of Product Marketing at Cockroach Labs, the custodian founders of Cockroach Database. Welcome back, good to see you. Congratulations yes. on your new role, new gig, been yeah. there for a while. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you, John. I've yeah. kind of jumped out of the, the data space and into Kubernetes, and so, yeah, I landed at Cockroach Labs about a year ago. Yeah. And I'm having fun. It's, it's interesting, the game is still the same. Data is still the center of the value proposition with software. Yeah. Data is now code. Data is looking, interacting with software, data control planes, yeah. data layers, data lakes. All of this is an, an evolution of stuff. We were talking about back in the open source days at Hortonworks, the data is in, in motion, data in flight, data at rest. Yeah. Data is continuing to be critical well, in yeah, automation, I mean, security, every yeah, single app. It's at the center of the big battle right now, right? There's this like, I, I just sense there's a larger battle going on for the platform right now. And the platform is being battled out by these large public cloud providers. Uh, and it's who can get compute, uh, you know, who can get actually, you know, people, you know, re residents in their, in their cloud and, I, you know, Data has always been the, the centerpiece of that. Yeah. And you know, data has gravity, if it was on, it, before it was on-prem, so the battle was, yeah. was in-house at all these, these people, and, and now it's like, how do, we, how do we get this stuff to move all Yeah, we were talking right? before you came on camera, and also we talk online a lot, and, and have a lot of connected friends in the cloud native space, but now that cloud 2.0 has arrived, where it's enterprise, hybrid, you know, people are starting to get, get excited about that, you're seeing the replatformization or, or refactoring, whatever word you want to use, a modern enterprise architecture that has the best of cloud native, that has the best of the what the enterprise used to do with compute, like mini computers and whatnot, now packaged up in an operating model. This modernization trend is hitting every, everything note. Developers, security, this is kind of where you're playing right now. You look at what Google's done with Spanner Database and, and where that's all come from and these kinds of large scale data problems. Right. Modernization's yeah, yeah, here, what's your take I mean, on this? It's just modernization, it's, it's stuff we've been doing for a long time. It's like, you know, I, I was talking to Steve Mullaney earlier. Um, Steve's, Steve's brilliant, right? And Steve talking about, you know, 1992, we saw this transition to kind of client server. I, I've never seen anything like this. Tra this transition and this modernization is much bigger than any of the other trends that we've been through. I, you know, back, uh, you know, when we were talking before, it was the Hadoop game. Yeah. And that was, you were talking modern data architecture. How do we actually transform the way we thought about data from these kind of you know, single kind of stovepipes of data into larger data lakes and this sort of thing. It was, that was the beginning. Uh, what we're seeing this time, though, is, is a massive, you know, transformation up and down the stack, of which data is one huge, massive piece of it. And as, as we know, man, data has gravity, yeah. and it's, it's at the center of this battle, I guess. What's your it definition is. of multi-cloud? We're here the first ever multi-cloud conference. What is multi-cloud? You know, I get asked this a fair amount. So as I was looking for speakers, everybody's like, well, what do you mean a multi-cloud conference? What does that even mean? I, there's a lot of people, like multi-cloud yeah. unbelievers. Um, I think we already live in a multi-cloud world. I think hybrid cloud is just multi-cloud. Um, you know, I, and in, I, I talked to a lot of people through the CFP process for the conference. You know, I had guys who are running, you know, edge computing platforms, say, you know, talking to me about this. I'm like, well, if you look at it, it's just servers. They're just servers that are everywhere. And actually, how do we actually start to attach all this stuff? It's all multi-cloud. It's, you know, what is the cloud but a bunch of different servers that somebody else owns? You know, you may own them, you may not. Um, the, the challenge is going to be, how do we tie all that together, you know? How do I, we I mean, we've, I mean, computer history has proven, if anything, heterogeneous environments, multi-vendor, I mean, you go back and talk to about um, you know, the comment about the client server. I mean, that was a real threat to the mainframe. Internetworking completely changed the game. At that time, PCs were exploding in growth, um, and multi-vendor was a big nut buzzword. And that was the reality. You had to compete and service multiple vendors in an environment. Yeah, and multiple it's, clouds, just multiple vendors. John, and it's, it, you know, it's kind of like the multi-cloud conference. And you know, my friend Joseph Jacks. I mean, Joseph and I have a lot of conversations about things. You know, uh, and he's, he's brilliant in terms of how he thinks about commercial open source and how these things are. And you know, I really played around with changing the name of this to the Open and Independent Cloud Conference, because that's really what this is about. It's about how do we have a conversation in the open about how we open up the cloud. And you know, I, I, I just got, I, w I was a little frustrated with some of the conferences I went to because I think people are talking about this, 
but it's it's not lip service. It's just difficult to talk about it in a broader sense. Well, I'm really so. glad you did. I'm really glad you did this because I've been calling multi-cloud bullshit on the cube for over a year. Stu and I have debates about this, um, and you know, I'll put I've it. In, okay, of course. Yeah. But but people who know what I mean know that. Um, I believe that multi-cloud reality of, I have Amazon, I got Azure, I got, I mean, hell, if you upgrade Office 365, you have Azure. So that's a multi, another cloud. So yes, people have multiple clouds in their environment, but the foundational work is being done now, you guys are doing it, and that's what I was getting at. There's no multi-clouding going on, and, and in meaning sense of the seamless workloads, what HachiCorp's doing. So this, this is the foundational, what you guys are getting at, in my mind, at least from my perspective, is a foundational conversation around, what is the foundation of multi-cloud look like. And John, it's it's look at there there is a technical equation here. I think a lot of people will argue the technical merits of what is multi-cloud. Is it even possible to combine networking and security and all these? Those are really, really difficult problems to solve. At Cockroach Labs, to solve the database problem, to solve the data problem, to actually have uh, you know I could spin up a note of cockroach on this laptop that's sitting next to you and have that participate in, in a database that spans multiple clouds, that's awesome. But there's a whole other side of this conversation, John, around what does it mean for you know, my skills in my, in my organization? What does it mean for the, the financial side of things, the legal? Yeah. Like, and so I think we're all dealing with a lot of these multi-cloud kind of concepts, yeah. but just not addressing them yet. And yeah, so I mean, there's, it's complex. Well, first of all, it's fun too. I mean, it's complex, but look, innovation is complex. But here's the thing, Dave and I were joking around cloud 2.0. And we picked that term, we were talking about cloud 2.0, mainly because I remember during web 2.0, it was just everyone, did, what is web 2.0? It creates such a debate. And it was, so to goof on web 2.0, we said cloud 2.0. But what we mean is, is that it's changing, right? I'll give you an example. I mean, to me, cloud 2.0 or multi-cloud is having a fully horizontal scalable infrastructure at on demand, elastic at resource with domain specialty application development that takes advantage of data and machine learning for domain specific context and then having a, an addressable data layer on top of that. Yes. That to me is multi-cloud yeah, And being able to service your customers no matter where they are. And unfortunately, the public cloud providers don't have full coverage across the whole planet. So we inherently live in this multi-cloud world. If you want to deploy an application today, I'm sorry, but you're, the world is your audience. There's no like segmenting your app to like just New York, right? Like, uh, and so how do you actually service customers when they're coming at you from all over the planet? It's, a, it's another challenge that we have. And fortunately, I want to add to your Cloud 2 conversation that it's, uh, I'm sorry, the Cloud 2.0 conversation, that it is a world of hybrid and multi and yeah. multi-region and single region. And it's, and it's the evolution between these different kind of flavors of this such a, I feel is the emerging trend that's happening. And well, we're categories are changing. Network yeah. management becomes observability. Configuration management becomes automation. The old database becomes a different kind of database view. You know, data protection, cyber protection. Uh, this redefining moments here where white spaces are becoming larger um, categories. I mean, look at observability. Yeah. Public going public and bought. John, they, they, Look at what Google did over the first in the past like 10, 12 years, and look at the startups that are now out there that are kind of doing this really innovative stuff. You know, we have light stuff here. You know, Cockroach is another great example. Um, what the Upbound team is doing, you know, and so like the people have been through this. And from a data point of view, we couldn't agree more. I mean, I can spin up an instance of RDS, Postgres, and it's going to be a single instance that's going to live in one region. Yeah. That, that's going to service one bit of, of a cloud, you know, and, and one corner of the world. The cloud and, and this massive distribution of stuff, it change, you have to inherently start over yeah. when you're building these technologies. And that's why the CNCF has come about, right? It's, there's a fundamentally yeah, the different CNCF, approach. CNCF, I love those guys, and we're going to go do KubeCon, but yeah. one of the things that I was talking with the HashiCorp co-founder uh, earlier today, he was talking about workflows, and I was talking about workloads. And right. so I think the conversation is still technical and geeky, but if you just abstract out all the nerd talk and geek talk and say, what's the workflow? and what's the workload, you go, okay, no other buzzword should be talked. You got to go on stage, so you got to go, Jim Walker, Vice President of Product Marketing at Cockroach Labs, good friend of theCUBE, and part producer of this show with Mike Harrow and the team, Escape 19, first inaugural multi-cloud conference. We'll be back with more after this short break.